I'm so weird looking. Why can't I be as pretty as the other plants? Why am I even here? What does this symbolize to you? Beauty? How about creativity? Positivity? Reducing your chances of catching a cold? Reduce stress? And even responsibility? Plants can do wonders for our health and well-being. Of course they can spruce up any room in your home, but they can all teach us a valuable lesson. We are all worth more than what meets the eye. They can improve your health. There's the obvious oxygen side to plants that we all know about, but there are so many more cool things they're capable of. I know I just said houseplants are more than just a pretty flower, but let's be real. Plants are pretty neat looking, and they can make you look pretty neat looking too. Plants can give you a real sense of purpose. The rain can't water them for you. The sun can't reach their leaves if you don't open the blinds. You are responsible for this living being but if you take care of them right, they'll take care of you too. My best friend Amina and I always argue over which color is better, green or blue. It's green. And here's why. Green is the easiest color on the eyes, which makes sense because the entire world used to be green at one point. They say people who sit at the computer all day should have a green desktop. Green makes you feel refreshed and calm. Plants make you feel refreshed and calm too. And I'm not just saying this because my favorite color is green. The American Horticultural Therapy Association noticed that people with plants in their lives experienced increased self-esteem, reduced stress and anxiety, higher concentration, and better memory. Plants can give us oxygen in exchange for our carbon dioxide. We all know that. But plants can literally purify the air that we breathe. People generally believe that the air inside is safer to breathe than the air outside, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. Indoor air can be up to 12 times more toxic than outdoor air. This is thanks to VOCs, volatile organic compounds floating around in the air, coming from sources like formaldehyde in vinyl and rugs, grocery bags and cigarettes, and benzene and trichloroethylene in man-made fibers, inks, solvents, and paints. But before you go pitch a tent in your backyard, research from NASA of all places shows that houseplants can remove up to 87% of VOCs within 24 hours. This is called phytoremediation. Naturally, if you're breathing cleaner air, you're less likely to catch a virus. The backs of plants' leaves release moisture into the air, regulating the humidity in the room. That means less coughing, less sore throats, less eye problems, and less fungal diseases. According to Norwegian researchers, houseplants can reduce these cold-related ailments by 30%. A study conducted at Kansas State University noticed that recovering surgery patients asked for less painkillers, had lower heart rates, lower blood pressure, experienced less fatigue and anxiety, and were released from the hospital sooner when there were plants in the room. So imagine the benefits plants can offer when you're not sick. As a pale redhead white girl, I can get really pink in the summertime. Thank goodness for my aloe plant. Studies show that aloe vera gel can help heal minor wounds and burns up to eight days faster than regular plant-free treatment. If that's not enough to win you over to Team Houseplant, let's not forget about the aesthetics because plants are visually interesting things. All houseplants add pizzazz to a room. Now you can finally put away those cups of stale water. They're always willing to listen to your beautiful singing. Aloe vera gel is not only good for healing minor cuts, burns, and scrapes, but it can also be used as shaving cream, makeup remover, and eyebrow gel. Let's say your kid wants a pet, and you know they're not so responsible. What do you do? Your best bet is a houseplant. Plants won't scratch your furniture, plants won't bark, you don't need to walk your plant, and if they pee on the carpet, that's your fault. I bet you thought I was talking about houseplants this entire time. Well, I kind of was. The real reason why I'm telling you all this is because plants taught me a very important lesson. There's so much more to a person or a plant than what you can see on the outside. Growing up, I knew I was never going to be the pretty girl, so I took pride in my academics, and I gained my self-esteem through my talent. Whenever I felt insecure or doubted my worth as a girl, I always said, at least I'm smart, at least I have talent. When I came to Canterbury, I quickly realized I could completely reinvent myself. No one knew me here, there was nothing to be scared of. I could become a completely different person. I gradually put more and more energy into my appearance and as a result, my grades kind of suffered. Although I was still making honor roll every year, it wasn't enough to use my at least I'm smart when I really needed it. A huge contribution to my self-esteem was being a good artist. But at Canterbury, every single one of my peers is amazingly talented. I felt like I had nothing special anymore. I wasn't the smartest, I wasn't the most talented, and I wasn't the prettiest. 
I felt like I had nothing. And for a while, I stopped caring about all three of those things. As I started applying to post-secondary schools, I had to make a portfolio, so I started making art again. I saw an improvement in my grades. I was more passionate about learning because I was feeling better about myself. I focused less on what my hair was doing and whether or not anyone noticed I was wearing the same shirt two days in a row. Little positive things in my life kept adding up. And one of those little things was houseplants. They gave me a relaxing and fulfilling hobby without tons of commitment. They gave me someone to take care of other than myself. A plant that doesn't have flowers is worth just as much as a plant that does. Take care of a plant and take care of yourself.